Hello Aces, hello everyone. This is Teacher A for another review of English lesson. It's been a long time that we had our review class. We already had English 7, English 8. For today, we'll be dealing with English 9 based on the most essential learning competencies derived from the curriculum experts of Dep and personal, of course. Now, for today, We'll be dealing with the module 1, week 1 lesson for English 9, if I'm not mistaken, English 9 is more in Anglo-American literature, but we'll be focusing on a certain learning competencies for today. The topic would be expressing permission, obligation, and prohibition using models. Now, to be honest, based on the surveys launched by different lang language experts and those who are taking their master's degree program, they always had this question, among the English grammar structure, which of those topics you may find difficult? And commonly, particularly not uh, teachers and students, they always say that models would be a difficult lesson for them now let's try to make it easy let's try to compare the examples and the theories encapsulated in this powerpoint presentation so that we can at least digest some of the parts of the lesson now take note we'll be only focusing on expressing permission obligation and prohibition using models Models in the definition, do you know how to express permission, obligation, and prohibition using models? In this module, you will learn more on how models are used to encourage someone to do something, to ask and give permission, to oblige someone to do something, and prohibit someone from doing something. Through the use of model auxiliaries or model verbs, you can express yourself meaningfully and you can communicate effectively. To be honest, models is usually used when it comes on providing or expressing your pen permission, obligation, and prohibition. Sometimes, we can identify the intensity of a statement based on the model's use. How is it being polite? How is it being sound a bit bossy? Or sounds providing you or giving you a permission? Now, in order to understand fully in the expressing permission, obligation, and prohibition using models, we have here some examples and, of course, when and how we can use them. Now, let's funnel it down. The most common words used in asking and giving permission are can, may, could, and would. I repeat, the most common words used in asking and giving permission are can, may, could, and would. For an example, can I open the window? May I sit down, please? Could I have a coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? Now, in order to understand the basic use of asking and giving permission through the use of models can, may, could, and would, let's try to examine this slide. The model could is more formal than can. May is the most formal. Now, even on the degree of formality, models also differ. As we mentioned on this slide, could is more formal than can if we try to compare could and can. But among those two, may is the most formal. Now, if we try to make it in an illustration, we have here a podium for a bronze medalist, a silver medalist, and a gold medalist. If we say can would be our third placer, when it comes on formality, could would be our silver medalist when it comes in formality. And of course, we have the champion may for the most formal. Now, this part, actually, you may use this depending on the situation. If you would like to sound polite, if you are talking to an individual or a person 
in high authority or high status or high position if you want to sound more polite you can actually use may now if you are only dealing with the person your classmate your friend a person with your same level you can actually use can or could that would be optional but always remember using could is more formal than can may is the most formal they differ when it comes on the degree of formality and politeness. Now, we also have here in expressing obligation, we use the modal verbs must, should, ought to, and have to. The previous example are asking and giving permission. But for this time, this would be expressing obligation. When we say obligation, it's your task, it's your duty, it's your responsibility. How we can express those duties, those responsibilities of ours, or even if we would like to say it to other person. Now, you must answer your modules. That would be your obligation in answering your modules during new normal teaching in the school year 2020 to 2021 now that's why we use must it's mean it means it is your obligation to answer those modules mr bean should save money that would be another perhaps an obligation of mr bean to save money Lucy ought to go by herself. Lucy wanted to go by herself. That's her obligation for her herself. Another one in France, you have to drive on the right. It means it's your obligation to drive in the right to obey the rule. Now, in order to understand this fully, we may need to encounter this particular slide. The model must is used to express a firm obligation or necessity it shows that the obligation comes from the speaker if you will be using must as a model of obligation therefore the necessity the obligation comes from the speaker the speaker himself provides or gives obligation or necessity to anyone that he or she is talking to that's why we have an example earlier you must answer your module on this part the one that provides the obligation is the speaker himself you and you are transferring this to someone to do that obligation it comes from the speaker himself next the model should is the model should is used in stating urgency or necessity and that the speaker is using his own subjective view now compare to the previous one must the obligation comes from the speaker himself but when we use should as a model in stating our obligation it probably states urgency or necessity that the speaker is using his own subjective view it means when you say subjective view it is partially acceptable to the person who you are talking to if it's not acceptable for him or for her it means it is a subjective view only it's not objective it's not firm but only a subjective view example mr bean should save some money now if mr bean opted not to save money but to use those money it's up to him it's only a subjective view of the speaker if you would if you are only suggesting if they will accept or not your urgency or your particular solution i will be using should if my point of view is in the subjective mode it's not objective, 
it means it's only an opinion it can be accepted or not if your statement it's on the subjective view acceptable or not acceptable to the receiver of the statement you must you must use should as a model another one would be the model have to is used to show that a person is obliged to do something usually by an outside force now when we say obliged to do something usually by an outside force you are actually not being forced totally not being forced totally but you are tasked to do this because of the outside forces because of the external forces you must do this thing you must obey for an example in france you have to drive on the right it means if the rules or laws in france that driving must be on the right lane you should accept that or you must accept that because that's their external force that's their outside force it's not subjective it's subjective because it is rule it is a law it is a system for them that's why you will be using have to as your model now ought to is used to express recommendation or moral obligation take note of that recommendation it is used when the speaker wants to represent something as law or duty or regulation lucy ought to go by herself that's only a recommendation a moral obligation it's upon to lucy if she go by herself or she can join the crowd or join the company in a particular travel now ought to means an expression of recommendation or moral obligation it is when the speaker wants to represent something as law or duty or regulation you are not regulating someone to do his or her will because everyone has freedom definitely in any movement you can accept that that's why on this statement lucy ought to go by herself that's the duty of lucy by joining the company or by going by herself now you also have can or can't suggest something is against the rule particularly when we don't make the rule okay it is an opposition opposing a rule possibly on a model will be using can or can't particularly when you are opposing that would be can now you can go outside during ECQ that's correct that's the rule during ECQ minors and senior citizens must stay at home Re regardless of their duty except for the health purposes they must stay at home so you can't go outside during ecq can't here function as model representing or suggesting that something is against the rule teachers can teach via live stream that's correct if teachers cannot do face-to-face -face teaching they can do it via live stream it is suggesting the rule must not or mustn't mustn't is just only a contraction of must not okay is used to talk about what is not permitted it implies that a prohibition is directly from the speaker you are providing or implying the prohibition is directly from the speaker an example would be passengers must not talk to the driver that's the prohibition from the speaker it's not permitted passengers must not talk to the driver it came directly from the speaker and not permitted dora mustn't arrive late in the tour that came from the speaker it's not permitted no one is allowed to be late now in order to practice our skill let's try to have this activity complete the following sentences with the appropriate models these are the choices can 
must, can, may, would, have to, should, could, mustn't, and ought to. We'll be using these models in order to complete the statement. Now, let's do this practice. For number one, you blank research the route a little more before you set sail. Identify the model that can best suit this statement or can complete the sentence. For number two, you blank work without your ID company. Same instruction for number one and two, you should choose which among of the models that can complete the following sentence. For number one, the answer is may. You may research the route a little more before you set sail. Next, for number two, must. You must work without your, you must work without your ID company. Number three, blank, you give them the doctor's telephone number. Number four, you blank, be properly dressed if you will come to the party. Number five, blank, we go after a walk. The answer for number three, could you give them the doctor's telephone number? Number four, you should be properly dressed if you will come to the party. And number five, can we go for a walk? I guess the previous activity it should be mustn't. You mustn't work without your ID company. Okay, that's. I'm so sorry for some technical errors. Now, in complete understanding of the models, you can actually search for different examples that they are actually used in a statement so that you can fully understand their differences. Now. If you want to be updated on the, on the next module based on the most essential learning competencies for English 9, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified per week if the video is available. That would be all for today, ACES. Happy learning, everyone. Thank you so much.